so thank you so today's topic is getting ready to trade so there's a lot of stuff goes on before we start the trading day so after market hours i do a lot of things to get ready for the next day i also uh, go over uh, what happened during the day so that is called debriefing so today i'll, I'll show you a few things what we need to do in order to know whether we are ready to trade or not so there's one little exercise i'll uh, i'll show you um the way i i do it every day even on weekend so i know because uh, on weekend i'm doing something else so i need to know so seven days a week 365 days a year i do it maybe you do it but uh maybe you don't have a systematic way of doing it so uh, i'll show you one little step it takes five minutes so getting ready to trade like today so i i did that i did yesterday also so i do everything uh what i'm telling you i'm going to do uh, i do it and not only in trading but anything anything you're doing uh, we, we need to evaluate am i ready for uh, let's say am i ready for the meeting am i ready for teaching am i ready to trade uh, so things like that so getting ready to trade uh, this slide I keep showing is just, uh, if you have attended my previous presentation, I just keep showing you this to remind you that we all live in the comfort zone. And then in order to have a success, a breakthrough, a breakout, like in trading we call breakout, we need to do certain things uh, which takes us to the edge. That's where the success is. So success lies here in doing things in a different way, uh, recognizing our limitations, knowing what we want, and we break through. So this is the a nine to five or a comfortable life, but the success is beyond our comfort zone, doing certain thing in a certain way. So that's what it is. This is the pie chart I have mentioned to you uh, many times. I show it again. There is a difference between the, the traders mm, um, uh, who lose money and traders who make money and traders who are break even. So this is uh, based on the three year data. So somebody did the analysis and said 70% of the traders, they lose money. So uh, you can you can make money in, even if you are uh, successful 30%, your win rate is 30%, you can still make a lot of money. Traders make money even when they are 20% success because they, they recognize the win trade and they hold on to it and they cut their uh, loser fast when they recognize it's not worth holding. So 70% of the traders, they lose money. 18.5% of the traders, they break even after three years. So this is not bad. 18.5% 18 of traders, they break through, break even. 11.5%, they make money. So the traders, when you do the analysis of the traders who did the, uh, who came in to break even, uh, instead of uh, on the win side, uh, there were certain things, if they had done right, they would have been in the, uh, success uh, quadrant so they did something wrong and uh, they instead of in the green pie they ended up in the blue pie and the traders who are uh, who lost money they did not only the trading wrong but there are certain things which they which was under their control and they did not do it correctly so uh, in any profession or in, in trading a lot of things are under our control so uh, there are certain things which are beyond our control. Say, let's say you went long and yes, tomorrow mm, uh, some unknown event occurred. Uh, was, that was not known to you, not known to uh, others. And then that stock start to tank. So that was beyond your control. But what was in your control was knowing the earning event. So you're taking the risk knowing how you trade whether you were able uh, you were ready to trade or not uh, i'll show you and you took the trade when you were not ready to trade uh, you were not in a proper uh, mental zone so that's why uh, you're losing in that trade so if you combine all the bets you we are taking every day in our life or financial then the end result comes out to be a losing one so series of bets we take every day in in our life and in uh, trading so small small bets so 11 half percent traders are successful there is another study done that the traders who are successful they are responsible for their action don't blame others uh, so uh, 
if the trade is a win trade. Uh, we don't categorize as just a, uh, it's a skill. And when the loser trade comes and we put them in the bucket of uh, luck. So uh, two trade, one is a winner, one is a loser. The, the win trade come, goes in the win bucket and the loser trade goes in the luck bucket. So we, we shouldn't be doing it. So we need to recognize that all trades were uh, due to skill. So where we fail, we need to analyze the uh, failed trade. Even if the trade is a winner, we need to recognize that why did we win and what, what mistake we did, even though we committed the mistake and the trade is still come out to be the winner. So we need to dissect each trade and even though it's a winner. So if it's a winner, then okay, it was a winner. I recognize that, I saw that. So that image should be, it should be such that that image when you made the decision of buying, that image should be stored in your brain. So then when you see the trade next time like that, uh, you do the scanning. Uh, that image which you are seeing now is uh, like a match, you know, the, like a computerized match, database match, um, uh, found the match. So it should be like that. So if we store all the win trades and all the loser trades, then we can, um, be more successful. So dissect both trades and be responsible for our uh, success. So the more success, responsible you are, the more success uh, you will achieve. So not shifting uh, the responsibility on something else. So cause and effect. Now we need to recognize there are many, there are three ingredients to uh, trading success. There are three ingredients. The number one ingredient in trading success is you, Y-O-U. So it's me, but you. And then there is a, the second ingredient to success is the risk management. So in trading, the number one factor is you. Uh, number two factor is risk management. And the third factor is the trading system. And below the trading system is the trading strategy. And so to so you is the most important factor. Then comes the risk management. Then comes the uh, trading system. And under the trading system is a trading strategy. So trading strategy, the, the same symbol which you see as a uh, long and you buy, you can buy sh uh, shares, 100 shares, or you can buy one contract, or you can put a vertical spread. You can sell the puts. So uh, you can put bull put spread. So you can do bull put spread. You can um, sell the puts. You can create a vertical spread, calendar spread, diagonal spread. You can uh, buy uh, simple long calls, or you can buy shares. You can buy shares and do the covered calls. So you see how many strategy you can adopt for the same trade. So recognizing the trade, and then you're adopting a different strategy. And before you recognize the trade, you have to know the risk management. And before the risk management, you need to know about you, who you are. So Knowing who you is, is the most important. It contributes 60 to 70% of your success towards trading or any endeavor. So this you uh, is plays an important role and we need to perform our self analysis unconsciously all the time, 24 hours, we need to be aware of what is going on in our head. So there are different ways of analyzing and uh, knowing, knowing our health, knowing what else is going on in our life. There are stressors, uh, uh, our family members, anything connected with us. So we need to perform our self-analysis unconsciously. So this is a big topic. Uh, you can uh, read books, you can contact experts, you know, those who are experts, they will help you. So this is a big topic. So you can be on top 11% if you do self-analysis unconsciously, uh, consciously and consciously, uh, all the time, 24 hours, be, be aware of who you are. So this is you. So let's think this is you on. So the, I, I drew a, a, a circle, you. Then after you, the important part to understand is about the market. So people don't pay attention to what is going on in the market. What kind of market we have. People categorize market as a bull market or bear market. So that's good. You can categorize bull and bear market, but bull and bear market will not help you in your trading, short-term trading. Um, in the bull market, the market, there are a lot of, a lot of things going down. In the bear market, a lot of things are going up. 
So there are a lot of opportunities on the bull and bear market. So bull and bear market is good uh, from the definition point of view. You know, there's 20% uh, down the bull bear market or 20% up or bull market. So there you can define a lot of uh, ways to define the bull and bear market. So is it bull and bear is good, but for the for the and then you can define if it's a volatile market or is a non-volatile market or it's a quiet market. It's just a uh, normal market. So all kinds of definition, but for the short term trading. Within the bear market, it could be an uptrending market, or it can be in the bull market, it can be a downtrending market. So need to have some way of analyzing the market. Um, is it an uptrending market, week over a week basis or something? Like two weeks, market has been moving up. Uh, it's a it's an uptrending market or for one week, the market is moving up. So intermediate trend is up to the upside. So whatever is your definition of understanding what the market is doing or the market is in consolidation or the market is in choppy. So when the market is choppy, maybe I need to trade both sides. So look for the opportunity for that selected uh, trade which are going down or the selected trade which are moving up. Maybe the market is in the up uh, down trending, but the oil stocks are moving up. So I need to capitalize on the oil market. So, so uh, being ready for the market, understanding the market, and then further dividing it into different sectors, into the different industry groups. So those th that kind of work we need to do um, on a daily basis. So understanding what kind of market, understanding which sectors are moving up or down, understanding the which. Uh, which industry groups, which selected stocks. So maybe some financial stocks are moving and some financial stocks are, are crashing, uh, crashing. So in the same, at the same time, you can have a bullish position in one financial stock, maybe uh, American Express or Goldman Sachs. And on another, um, uh, the same, uh, another one, you can have a bearish uh, position, maybe Charles Schwab is, is tanking. So, so be aware of which one is tanking and which one is going up and overall what's the trend in that industry group. So analyzing the market, uh, uptrend, downtrend, sideway, what, what kind of volatility it is, is it a choppy market and who, which is moving up and which is moving down. So I do this analysis every day. It's like, uh, you know, just like we eat three times uh, or five times or 10 times a day, same way I do the market analysis in the, during market hours and after market hours and before the market opens. So need to analyze the market. So uh, pay attention to all the ETFs and all uh, the futures market, all the, the cash market and, and which, which, uh, which uh, are moving in the pre-market, which, which stocks are moving in the pre-market. So do you have a system of putting uh, those stocks into your basket in the uh, which are pre-market movers up and down. So I immediately prepare the list in my pre-market up and down. So I, 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 so I don't miss it. Maybe the, one of those I will catch during the regular hours. So I wait for the regular hours. I don't open a position uh, in option. You cannot during the uh, non-regular hours, but maybe you can buy. If you see the opportunity, maybe you can buy a few shares in the pre-market hours. So analyzing the market is very important. So, so far we just, uh, we just went through and said, okay, we need to analyze you. So it's you, is you, it's, it's a big topic. Market itself is a big topic. People spend their life in analyzing the market. So every day you know, work on it uh, to figure it out what the market is doing. And if you don't have the time, maybe you can find someone uh, who can help you. So I do have a market analysis report. I, I give send you early morning. I do the work. My team does the work. I train them and they do the work. Then I verify. So you know, we send you the report. It's not uh, that um, uh, when you, if you understand the market is like 80% of your success is uh, you, you have a high probability once you know the market. So, so contact my team and they will sign you up. It's not, uh, it's very little price. So understand the market. Then uh, the next component, you know, I, I missed, uh, I have not written uh, one component, which I will introduce next time. It's called risk management. So risk management is, uh, so after you, so after you, the second factor is market. The third, Third is the risk management, which is not listed here. I will 
um, just think that is there. So risk management is knowing how much. So how much you want, you will be investing in that trade. So it's very important that you understand the risk management. Uh, the risk management means um, how much you will, how, what is your risk profile? So first you need to understand what is your risk profile for that uh, account, what for that account, not for overall. So overall you can have 10 different accounts and each account will have a different risk profile. So and then you have your own profile who you are so the answer knowing who you are you could be 80 year old person uh 80 year old person have a different risk than the person who is 25 so so the answer will come uh, by analyzing you about your risk so risk management tells us how much we need to uh, what is our portfolio size so we know the portfolio size then we say okay how much we are willing to lose in each trade so just talk about the short term trade how much we are willing to lose in the trade so we the answer let's say come to 1% so it means $1000 we are willing to lose so if you lose a 1% in the, any trade you will lose one $1000 so the answer is fixed you will you want to lose only $1000 and the answer for the portfolio size is fixed hundred thousand dollars this hundred thousand dollar will fluctuate uh, on a weekly basis so you can update your portfolio size so then you take the one percent of that portfolio so one percent then your trading system so you know when your trade is stopped out you will lose one thousand dollars then you have a various trading system so trading system minimum required is two two of two minimum trading system you must have you can have one trading system and it can give you the trades both uh, for the downtrending market and for the uptrending market so same system which is a long system so you can say okay i only have a one long one trading system is long and it gives me always tells me uh, which to go long so uh, if the market is going down it is uh, it tells me to buy this inverse ETF. So let's say the, the ETF which moves against the market. So you can go long. So you are only trading with one system. So ideally you need to have two or three, one for the long, one for the short, and one for the sideway market if you trade sideway market. So you can do that too. So let's say you have two trading system. So trading system is a, it means uh, either it can be a black box, it can be a, a chart, you master the chart reading. It could be a trend uh, trading system. It could be a breakout system, moving average system, a band system or, or cycle system. Uh, you know, moon and, and Pluto and Saturn, when they align, then you need to go along in the oil or when they are not aligned, then you need to go short on gold. So maybe you have that kind of a system. So whatever is your system, the black box or your own skill. So you, it, the trading system is giving you the trade. So, and it's also telling you when you analyze any chart, it tells you where you will be stopped out if you are wrong. So what, what, or what will happen? Sometimes the, uh, even though the, the uh, price, from the price point of view, the trade is not violating uh, that price point, but uh, suddenly it starts to do something which is against your expectation. So when that starts to happen and you feel it, you, like you really feel it that this thing is moving against my uh, judgment, uh, what I saw before when I went short and it, it suddenly it starts to move. So just don't sit there uh, figure it out if you need to close the short and and reverse your position. So the the quicker you realize, the better it is that you need to close the uh, short position and and the same symbol you need to open uh, uh, the long signal. So just make sure that you are doing. Otherwise, it's a double loss. So trading system tells us where the stop will be and how much we will lose uh from that uh, point wise so th th then when you plug in this uh, point loss then the answer will come how many shares you will buy or how many contracts you will buy because your risk management has told you uh, based on risk management you know you will lose one thousand dollars so if, uh, if per contract you um, uh, you figure it out from the trading system that per contract you will lose five hundred dollars it means you can only buy two contracts because when you lose those two contracts, you will end up losing $1,000. And $1,000 is 1% 1 of your portfolio size, which is 100,000. So, so far, we studied you as the most important factor. Then comes the market, 
and then comes the risk management and then comes the trading system so trading system this is the, another fourth component now the, the next component is the strategies the trading strategy so same symbol what strategy you want to adopt so the top traders they they can they can uh they are master of adopting the right strategy for that symbol uh they make money even though the symbol is not moving like literally the symbol doesn't move that stock doesn't move uh it is stay it stays in a narrow trading range little trading range but they end up making a lot of money because they they implement the trading strategy so so they they are master of the strategy same symbol they cut down their risk and they increase the reward so so now we know that the same symbol we can adopt various trading strategy and we can fine tune as the trade is moving or or staying or the time is passing by they are fine tuning their strategy they are putting doing some things they are taking some steps to to make money from that trade or minimize the risk so so far we uh, study we we know that in, u is very important then the market then the risk management then the trading system and then uh, strategy so let's say uh, so this uh, when you create a venn diagram so this is the market and this is the trading system so when you overlap the market with the trading system so the, this area where it dissects this is the area uh, where your uh the trading your trading system is in harmony with that type of market so uh if uh if the market is downtrending uh your trading system should be uh, uh catered to the downtrending market if you the market is um, uh, trending to the upside and you are tra um, uh, using the trading system which is um uh, which is catered to the downside market then you will you will you're not in harmony so you are looking to be in the harmony with the uh, with the market. So market and the trading system. So you need to be in the harmony all the time. So at least you need to have two trading system, one for the downside and one for the upside. If you don't, then uh, uh, you 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 you're messing around. So it means you're messing around. So stop. Uh, say okay i know at any given moment what kind of market we have and this is this is like pulling the rabbit from the head so it's like that pulling the rabbit you say okay the market is this i need to look at this or you can simultaneously when the market is choppy you're looking at the market uh trading uh, uh, to trade both sides of the market some exceptional opportunity occurs all the time even though the market is moving up uh, there's some exceptional reported opportunity on the time sides i usually don't trade when the market is literally moving up uh, so i say okay why bother i i just my odds are less if i mm, trade a short i find a very good short but then it's still uh, you know somebody see the value and they just stop uh, it just starts stops going down and then it starts to move up so when the market is really roaring uh, to the upside with the strength, then I don't look for the short side. But when the market is choppy, one day is up, one day is down, you know, this news coming, that news coming, the job market, inflation and interest rate and God knows what. So we need to uh, have uh, find exceptional opportunities on both sides. So this is the, uh, if you draw the Venn diagram, so where market and trading system is in harmony, uh, that's where the opportunity is now uh, so market trading system and then adopting uh, so you have bunch of tra uh, trading strategies so bunch of trading strategies so given for that market and the symbol you have identified whether it's long or short then you identify the trading strategy what is fit so that trading strategy fits for that symbol and according to that market and the symbol you're getting is in trading system so where the three uh, circles um you know go uh, intersect so, yeah intersect so that's the word so the three circles where they intersect that's where you uh have the highest uh, opportunity to making money so you see the market is giving you a lot of opportunities but not all the opportunities are uh, you need to trade uh you know only the, the, uh, that opportunity which fits for the market and you know what kind of a strategy you can implement so 
once you master the market and you master the trading system to get this all the uh, symbols for the upside and downside so first maybe you need to master the uptrending market then you master the downtrending market and then you master the sideway market once you do that so you have three system you understand all kinds of market and then you start to study the trading strategy so simple trading study the simplest is to go long just uh, buy 100 shares that's the simple uh, the simplest if you can do that then you say okay i can i i know how to buy so i receive email all day long hey i i i, I can trade a stock but i have not uh, traded options or what what should i do so learn a little bit about the option the greeks and uh, you know uh, just uh, go on a simulation mode and uh, figure it out uh, you need to know basic is the buy to open and sell to close so that's the strategy buy to open and sell to close so people get confused uh, buy to open what does it mean sell to close what does it mean because they have been buying or selling so figure that out and then move forward uh, make it more understand all the strategies so in other words this is the market this is a trading system so trading system is giving you the symbol according to the market you are not using the wrong trading system sometimes uh, doesn't i mean most of the time it doesn't work so figure out the market figure it out what kind of system you can have a many trading system the trend trading system the breakout system the gap system gap up gap down moving average breakout channel breakout cycle so whatever is your system and then you adopt the strategy so in other words pay attention uh, you're narrowing down your trading candidates and your strategy so now you're creating exceptional trades for yourself so do this and then when you combine with you so if in the same market and a trading system and a trading strategy and i create a trading plan for you i say okay you know john i have this market trading system and a strategy and this is my trading plan but it doesn't fit you you're not that kind of uh, trader so you say no 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 i don't uh, trade like that if somebody give me band trading i say no that band trading is not uh, uh i cannot do the band trading where I go long when it hits the lower line of the uh, band and I move out from the trade when it hits the upper line and I capture 20 cents. So I'm not that kind of trader. So I just can't do that. So now when we put you a factor into it, then uh, there is an intersection. So this is the intersection where uh, you further uh, narrow down your, uh, your focus. So this is where you are getting the trade, uh, you know, the 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 top uh, trades for you. So based on and analyze the market, analyze uh, first you need to analyze yourself, and then analyze the market, analyze the trading system, and then the strategy. So the intersection of this is where the most profitable trades are. So do that. So uh, all this is a constant uh, learning. Uh, understanding about ourselves is a constant learning understanding about the market is constant understanding about the trading system is constantly uh, uh, improving and learning new strategies so on top of one strategy we can keep on adding the strategy and then do the paper trading so do all this now the another uh, little uh, step uh, so this is all fine this is a long-term process so this is a long-term process every day we need to do something to improve now there is a short term uh, that uh, during the before the market open so before the market open we need to evaluate ourselves also just for that day so just for that day before the market open we need to analyze ourselves and and then evaluate our condition how uh, how uh, we are feeling for that day when we wake up. So when we wake up, we open our eyes. Uh, suddenly we know we are awake, we are alive. So say thank you to God and uh, rate yourself. So on a scale of one to eight, then you need to rate uh, how you feel. So uh, one means you're feeling really horrible. You're sick. Literally, you're sick. Uh, you are on medicine or something. Uh, two or three, mm, um, you're not feeling good. So you had a bad sleep. Uh, four or five, uh, neutral. So, you know, you're okay. Six and seven, you're feeling really great. And eight is super. So, so you're feeling super. So once you analyze uh, your, you know, how you're feeling for that day, then, then you know uh, whether 
is your survival day or you can make them right decision today so uh, any decision which are coming up so so the exercise is five minutes so when you wake up you know when we wake up uh, the condition is not that great compared to as uh, five minutes later, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, when we take shower, coffee or whatever is your thing, you know, eat some yogurt or some fruits, etc. meditate. So just do this exercise. Mm, uh, if uh, to uh, find time, wake up early, a little early from them before the market. I wake up at five, the market open at 6.30. My, my, I don't need, I, I, I uh, mean, I used to work, I had an alarm clock, uh, you know, alarm clock used to wake me up. Alarm clock is there, but it doesn't wake me up. I wake up myself. So alarm clock, I don't set the alarm clock. It's just for me to look at the time. So automatically I wake up at five, 4.30, sometime even at three. So, you know, sleep early, have a proper diet, wake up early, uh, do the meditation for five minutes every day before start of trading day so my routine is to okay i get up say thank you i take shower coffee pot ready uh, uh, after shower pray uh, take like five minutes pray meditate pray uh, ask uh, for the good day ask god uh, that the day goes well everything goes well whatever is best is in my best interest so I ask for that. So whatever is in my best interest, so only God knows. So I go inside myself and then I rate on a scale of one to eight. So this is the scale of one to eight. You need to rate yourself. So rate yourself. If you're rating yourself one to three, which is this, one to three in red, then you are feeling poor. One is really like when you are on, need uh, some uh, Tylenol or ibuprofen or something, you know, coughing and sick or whatever, or maybe, you know, when I got the COVID. So this was the condition, uh, COVID condition. So one to three, average is four to five. Yeah, I'm fine. And great is eight. So the other extreme. And the good score is six and seven. So the, the best score is six, seven, and eight. But uh, eight, we need to be aware of why we are rating eight. So like today, I rated myself eight. So I need to be aware of that I'm rating eight. Six and seven is uh, is is we are uh, striving for, and a four and five is a borderline, and one two three we need to stay away. And the reason we need to stay away from the market, uh, meaning um, we don't open any new position, uh, uh, because uh, when we are not feeling uh, good or we are feeling poor, um, uh, we we will not be able to make the right decision. It's just not possible when you are not feeling up to the you know high mark uh, you will not make the right decision you will do something stupid uh, brain doesn't process uh, so our our brain has the limitation of processing the data trading requires processing a lot of data a lot of visuals so a lot of data and a lot of visual things going on and we need to process everything together uh, today was a crazy day for me. Uh, I don't know right now what's going on, uh, but uh, it was a very crazy day. A lot of positions going up uh, in our direction, which was up. Uh, the, the, some positions are going down in the puts. I need to take profit like Etsy. Oh, Etsy, is, Etsy was down five points. Okay, so when the stock is uh, gapping down uh, in the pre-market hour, that goes in a high alert for me because and I have a position, it's, let's say I have a position short and it's going down, or I have a position long and it's going down. So that uh, in, in, that requires a lot of attention because that's where um, uh, I need to make sure that I don't pile up losses or if I have profits, I don't want to give those profits back. So because the gap down and then suddenly it starts to reverse up and I don't see the profit. So the position which are going down in my favor or the position which are going up, I need to watch all that. And on top of that, I need to uh, find the new opportunities from get go, uh, which industry group, is it oil stock, is it financial, etc. So a lot of decision is being thrown at. Uh, the phone is off. I don't, um, uh, you know, I don't uh, 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 on the emergency, so I know who is calling. Otherwise, I'm not paying attention to phone. I'm not paying attention to any email. My my other uh, no personal stuff. There is no pers only me <clears throat> with my coffee. By the time the market is open, even the coffee is done. So I'm ready. I evaluated myself, and I know that I will be able to make the right decision today. 
So evaluating every day is very important because I know I can uh, how my rest of my day will go through, and how I can so how I can uh, capitalize on on that day when I'm feeling six, seven, and eight or five, six, seven, eight, especially six, seven, eight. How can I capitalize on that day? Because this is the day where I'm feeling perfect and I can make the right decision and I can achieve a lot of other things. So my day needs to be organized. So every day we need to uh, score ourselves and figure it out whether we, will, we are ready to trade or not ready to trade. So, and another thing, um, so uh, at the end of the day, so when we do the debriefing, so when the day is closed, uh, 10, 15 minutes before the market close, you can do the debriefing and then you say yourself that, how was the day? So one of the one of the uh, one of the uh, evaluation is how did you perform uh, based on what you did rating. So if one to three did you perform mediocrely, four to five uh, you knew you were rating yourself four to five. So you you uh, your your performance was as expected. And if you rated six to seven, did you perform above par? So above par means that mm, if the trade was going. Uh, in your favor, you were managed. You were able to manage uh, to book the proper profit where it was. You have all the target set. You you reset the target, uh, the trade which came on your screen. You were able to analyze it properly and uh, executed it. You applied the proper strategy. And then if uh, the last thing is a rating of eight. So if you rated yourself eight then you expect that you will perform great, but then uh, you ended up performing uh, poorly. So then you ask yourself, why did I poor perform poorly? Maybe it has to do with uh, uh, with you. So you played the role, even though you you were rating yourself superb, and you uh, you ended up making some wrong decision. So this is uh, maybe the previous day, you had a great day, and it's affecting your decision you being arrogant, cocky, overconfident, and uh, it affected your trading. You you took some wrong decision. You overlooked something because you rated eight and you felt overconfident. So the study is done. Then when you feel overconfident, that's where you are. Mm -hmm. You tend to uh, make wrong decisions. So so knowing uh, how we are feeling helps in our trading. So uh, to go back. To go back, uh, we talked about the most important factor is you, which is 60-70% uh, of uh, contributing factor towards our trading success. Then we talked about the market. So the market could be bull market, bear market. It could be up uh, within the bull and bear. Um, you know, the, some, I, I, so people say, hey, it's a bear market, so we cannot trade long. No, you can trade uh, when you don't go uh, invest, but you can do the even the unless that bear market is severe and is, everything is just crashing every day. Uh, if, the, if the bear mar if market is there, but the rally is going on, if you go short, uh, you need to understand that your short position will lose money in the bear market. So why? So understand that what kind of market you have. Uh, for short-term trading, you categorize it as a, you need a quicker signal. For short-term trading, you need a quicker quicker signal in the market, uptrend, downtrend, sideways, quicker signals. And then the understand what kind of a strength market has uh, and what kind of volatility market has. So not only the whether it's a bull market, bear market, understand the uptrending market or is it downtrending market, is a sideways choppy market, what is the strength in the market, what kind of volatility it has, what kind of in, uh, sectors moving up and down uh, these days, which industry groups in that sector, what symbols I have ready. So prepare the symbols and how you monitor those symbols during the market hours. So, and before the market, after the market is closed, what events are occurring, um, FOMC in earning, what other major news coming. So analyze all those. Once you have that, and then on the side, you are working on the trading system. So trading system, you need to have two minimum trading system, one for long, one for short. Maybe you are a sideway market trader, so you can develop another trading system for sideway market. You need to know your risk management by having some work on your notepad, Excel worksheet, 
understand your portfolio size, understand your risk per trade, and then uh, apply based on the trading system, then you know the stop loss. So you now you know how many contracts you will buy, how many shares you will buy in that trade, and whether you have a strategy for scaling in. Maybe you buy one contract, first time and then you add another one and that's your strategy that you say okay i will uh, add uh, the my another 50 percent of lot in the next time uh, when i see the confirmation so some kind of evidence some kind of evidence criteria you're looking for because you made the decision uh you make when you make the decision that's where the most of the mistake is when we make the decision of going long or short so you want to eliminate some kind of a risk by buying half a lot one third lot but then if next day the market moves up uh, you make less money so you only you know so the more proper decision you're making the uh, the more confident you have the, the, then you can risk uh, the whole uh, one percent in, in the first first shot otherwise cut it down to half a percent and then one percent so trading system understand what you have then uh, what trading strategy you will apply so understand that whether you're buying uh, you see something 100 shares you buy and then you write a covered call or just share simple shares or vertical spread or naked put what bull put spread so same same symbol but the different strategy out of the money call in the money call so you need to understand what kind of a trading is going on in that symbol in the market sometimes out of the money call doesn't work because the market doesn't move fast for out of the money you need to a market needs to move faster so you're buying in the money so you are switching yourself you're saying okay no not for this this one is in the money this one is out of the money because i see it it will move faster or some event is coming so i understand even when event comes i buy out of the money call if i expect the money is this will go up if it goes up my out of the money will become at the money and that's where my premium is so i will sell and make the most so out of the money become at the money and you make the most and you sell so so what so strategy also depends on the event so what, what kind of an event is coming so the same symbol coming from this trading system but then you, the, there are some external factors coming into play so if i draw the arrows and i say okay these are the arrows bombarding i'm sitting here and i say okay this is strategy and then i say arrows fomc event um, uh, earning event this event that event so that will determine my strategy also. So when I put the market and trading system, the intersection is the one where I need to focus. But then I say, wait a minute, I need to put the strategy also into consideration. So what strategy I will apply based on some external factors. So, or what, what the symbol is doing. So then that narrow that narrows down the trading opportunities and the trading strategy then i apply the u factor then i say okay it's more narrow so on a scale of one to ten let's say you have a scale of one to ten and you're analyzing the trade you say only nine and ten i will take the trade if something comes up on a one to eight i will not eight the 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 trade which is going into seven or eight uh, score they 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 go on a watch list they need to Oh, prove further the trade which is falling into the criteria of nine to ten i take that that trade and any trade which goes into one to six i discard i don't uh, bother looking at it because there is always something so i'm narrowing it down i'm just narrowing it down and focusing only on the the trade which is i expect uh, have a very high probability of uh, success so and then in the morning i do the feeling scales uh, evaluate whether i'm ready i have everything this is ready but it was fit till last night but in the morning i woke up i'm feeling horrible so now my job becomes to manage my trade open position and i'm surviving the day i'm looking for the one o'clock p.m pacific ring 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 market close okay i take the lunch i take a nap feel better if i feel better then i do my other thing in the evening otherwise i'm just you know um watching some netflix or maybe just uh, reading some book so and then it's uh, scoring it so a score of one to uh, eight if one to three is poor four to five average grade is eight if i rate myself eight then i ask myself why did i perform poorly even though i rated eight and the reason could be that i became overconfident and i just thought i can do no wrong and that's where my demise 
So that's the end of uh, this session. And if you have any question, please uh, send an email to my team. And if you want to know about the market condition, I send you the report early morning. I analyze four markets, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Russell, and S&P, and combine and give you the, uh, the, the report on analysis, on market analysis. I give you uh, the minor trend. I give you the intermediate trend. I give you the uh, major trends, so three trends. Those three trends needs to be in harmony to make the most of the money in the market. And the strength I give you, whether it's a weak, strength is weak or strength is strong, there are five criteria. I have. And if the strength is neutral, which means the market is moving just up and down, and that, that's where we need to trade both sides. So knowing the strength, knowing the volatility, knowing the three trends, uh, give you an edge as a trader. So if you can do it yourself, you do it. Otherwise, uh, get the report from me. Uh, it, it, help, it, 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 it contributes to your trading success. So send an email to success at Trade Genie and they will help you out and sign you up for the, or any other service we have. It's on the website, tradegenie.com and you are here. So it means you, you know about tradegenie.com uh, you know my team, and I am Noshi. I've been trading for 15 years. So any question, please send email, and I stop here. And I'll see you this week, and I'll teach you something this weekend. All right? So thank you. Bye.